there everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan and I make teaching videos um, currently I am a reading teacher a reading tutor and I'm excited to share with you guys today my next step in my career so I hope you guys are excited and I hope you enjoy all right so basically my thoughts for making this video is people were asking me what I've been doing in my job search and the answer to that is nothing. I have a basically full-time job. Um, I'm very busy with my reading teacher, reading tutor, whatever. Um, I say I go like this with the tutor because it's not really a tutor. I'm not like tutoring a student. Um, I'm in a school, I'm working, and I am working with each grade level, with a few different kids, and really helping them improve their reading, as well as a little bit of math, too. So I was talking with a relative recently, and I was telling them about how I talked in the last video, but basically, I can't get a full-time teaching job, at least I don't think, without getting a kindergarten license added on to my current one through six license. So all Minnesota or most Minnesota schools are K through five. And that means that if a principal hired me and they didn't have any positions open one through five, they wouldn't be able to put me or have me stay in that school because I don't have my kindergarten license. So I feel like I, have learned over this time that if I don't get it basically they're filtering me out of the system and they're not even seeing my name in the first place so that means that I'm not getting interviews because of that reason not because I'm a terrible teacher or because my resume is not good enough at least I hope right <laughs> so basically what that means is I need to go back to school and so I was telling a relative about this, about how I need to go back to school to get my kindergarten license. So basically my research has told me that it'll be about a year and about 5,000 to 7,000 more dollars, depending on where I choose to go and how many credits and how much those credits cost and all that stuff. But typically it's a, between that, it's about $6,000, let's say, on average. So, she was saying, well, if you enjoy the current position that you're at and you're just not feeling like it is utilizing or paying you for the type of work that you're doing, why not look into getting a reading specialist certificate added on to your license instead? So basically my research has shown me that it is also about a year and about $6,000. So it's, it can go either way um, in terms of what I want to do. Now I've been realizing, and I know some of you are going to be like, oh, don't say that, but working in the classroom is a lot of work. And there has to be so much more recognition that goes to teachers than we give credit for. I mean, teachers work so hard and, you know, they don't get the type of recognition that they deserve. I substituted in a classroom a few weeks ago, and I haven't substituted in quite a while. I work for summer school, but it's been a little while since I've been like in the classroom doing stuff. And keep in mind that as a sub, you aren't having to prepare anything. You don't have to know like what like the plan is going forward. You just come in, do the job, and the hardest part is the behaviors. So I went in and it was hard. It was hard as a sub. And I know that maybe as a full-time teacher, you're not dealing with those behaviors, but you're dealing with a million other things. So I was like, you know, I really enjoyed this small group feel and you're still helping children to reach a higher level and to succeed. And I really, really enjoy that. I really love reading and writing. I have a strong passion for it and it's really enjoyable to me. So she suggested, 
you know, get that reading specialist license instead. And I thought that was actually brilliant. I actually really, really enjoy and love the job that I'm at. And it would be nice to be in a similar position, but one that I'm actually being recognized as a reading teacher and not just this tutor. So it would be pretty similar, but there would be a little bit more involved with it. And I'm like, if I have to go back to school anyways, this could be a really good route to go. So I don't know if any of you guys watching are reading specialists or reading teachers, or any of you are like, no, stick with the regular classroom setting. You know, you just need to get your own classroom to really figure out if you're gonna love it or not. Um, please let me know, you know, comment down below and just help me out here because I'm at such a crossroads right now that I am just trying to figure out because I'm going to see if this summer, if I'm applying to jobs and I still don't get something, I'm going to realize really quickly that something is majorly wrong either with what I'm doing to apply or the fact that I'm being filtered out because of this extra license that I don't have. So I don't know, let me know if you guys have ever stumbled upon a similar problem, maybe if you're in Minnesota, because I'm really just like, I don't know what to do next. Um, I have this idea, but I wanna see if applying to full-time positions gets me anywhere, especially after another year of experience working in a school and working with children because I just need some guidance. It's gonna be a while, you know, I'm still in this position. I always look for long-term subs and I'm still keeping my eye out for those kind of things. But for the most part, I'm enjoying where I'm at and yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think and all of that jazz. And that's all for this video. That's kind of where my career is headed next is basically your girls got to go back to school. <laughs> like there's no other way around it. So um, unless I magically get a job, then you can join me on that adventure. But basically, yeah, that's where I'm at right now and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I am excited for the prospect of seeing where my career goes next. I mean, being in this tutor position was not ever, like ever in my plan and I've actually really loved it. So let me know you guys um, what I should do next. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So yeah, um, otherwise I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.